Yeah, so it's fall time. Are y'all finna get all this fall content, baby? <laughs> That's vegetables, all right. Oh, okay, Gucci. Uh, having the shades for the brown skin girls.
Hey gems, it's Grandma Shamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing my monthly reset. Yeah! But um, y'all, I'm back from the gym and I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. Um, as you guys can see, I made my bed this morning. Um, and I switched up the color of the day because it's fall, period. September so 1st is the first day of fall. I don't care what nobody says. I said what I said. So in the spirit of themes, in the spirit of the new season, I figured why not do orange? Um, so yeah, I really love how it looks. Um, yeah. I haven't had like color for real on my bed like on purpose because I wanted to be colorful in so long. So I keep looking at my room and it's just like, whose room is this? <laughs> like this is my room, my bed. But um, yeah, so it's fall time. Y'all finna get all this fall content, baby. <laughs> um, I really need to start making my bed every morning again, but that's not even a challenge I'm about to put on myself. Like I'm really not. Cause I don't know what I'm going through, but baby. <laughs> I feel like just put, switching out the duvet, that is enough work on my bed to last me for the whole week. Like, I, it's too much. But anyways, I'm about to hop in the shower, get cute, and we shall reconvene the festivities. Y'all, it is so, like, gloomy outside. Like, where is the sun? Um, anyways, all right, so, um, I smell really good. Uh, random side note, I'm wearing a Taraji body lotion. The actual formulation of the body lotion itself isn't that great, honestly, but it smells so good. And I sprayed my vanilla bourbon mixed bar perfume on top of it. Somebody, somebody, somebody reach through, reach through and take a bite. Take a bite. Anyways, <laughs> back to scheduled programming. Um, so last month, I'm getting a little tired of my broken promises, promises. Um, <laughs> the first thing I learned by doing these monthly resets, and you know, I'm really glad that I'm doing them because I'm learning a lot about myself and my true capabilities. And I've realized I don't want to work myself like a horse. Like I don't. And I need to stop attaching my self-worth to how much work I can get done. I need to stop it. Um, and it's like, I, it's not that I feel guilty or anything for not working. I'm not saying not working, but for not like maxing out my productivity. But like, I have no problem taking time off, like enjoying myself, like that's not an issue. But also I just feel like when I am working, I need to be at a thousand all the time. And it's just not... It's not realistic, you know? And so first things first I learned from last month is stop giving yourself 16 things to, to accomplish in one month. 16 like major goals. And I thought I was being lenient because I said two or three, maybe two or three goals per like category, but you have like four. So why are you overwhelming yourself with all of this? So, yeah, I think that was the biggest learning factor from last time to now. Um, I definitely had, um, <laughs> let me put over an iPad, because let me see what, what lies I told myself last time. Um, I did not work out consistently. I think I said last time I want to work out four times a week minimum. But then, like, when I had switched my iron pills, I don't know if you guys remember that from the vlog, like, I was just so tired, like, and I just could not muster up the energy to do much. Um, I'm feeling better now. I'm back to my normal level of tired. Um, I've been taking, like, a liquid iron. I'm not in love with it, but it gets the job done. But on the days where I just, I don't have the bandwidth to do liquid, I do have the iron pill. The, I started taking Vitron C, I think it's called. And once I'm done with the liquid, that's what I'm going to be drinking from now on. So I can't wait to go for my blood work to see like what my updated numbers are. But yeah, so I didn't work out consistently. Um, and I did not post on TikTok. 
I don't know what my beef is with TikTok. I just, I don't feel connected to the app. I don't feel like I have my people on the app. Um, and it just, it, I'm not motivated. Mm. I'm not internally motivated to post. Like, I have a desire, a true desire to post on YouTube because I have y'all, like I have a tribe here on YouTube. I don't feel connected. I don't know if I have a tribe on TikTok. It's like one person left a comment recently and they're just like, what did I, I forgot? Something along the lines of I wish you would post more often or um, something that basically indicated that they wanted to see more from me. And when I read it, I was like, oh, do I have people on TikTok? I have a person? <laughs> And I'm not, that's not me asking y'all to harass me for content. That is not what I'm saying. But like, it's so funny because I was also watching, I don't know if you guys follow Samantha Ravendahl. She had posted a video literally titled, I hate short form, long form content, whatever. Basically her describing why she does not feel connected to TikTok. And I was watching, and I was just like, oh my God, like same. TikTok is great for me to watch, but I don't feel connected to the people watching my content. Um, and it's, it's because it's a, it's a fleeting platform. Like people just watch a video, skip, go to the next, swipe, go to the next, swipe, go to the next. Um, and so you don't really build connections, um, as you don't build the same connections that you build here on YouTube. And so I feel like that is just one reason why I feel like I'm not going so hard to post on TikTok. And two, and two I, I be tired. I'm, let me not say I'm tired. I've been outside. <laughs> My new budding social life here in the A is limiting my work because it's one thing if it's a planned situation and I know ahead of time, okay, I have plans for this evening, so let me move this work task to this time. But if it's like spontaneous or like short plans and I don't have too much time to make, you know, room for changes in a schedule and I'm gonna still go outside like and I'm okay with that another realization I came to is I'm not gonna have as rigorous and as structured content as I had before I moved here um people are just like you know oh my god you're so consistent you said this first of all I've been consistent let's talk about that okay I was a consistency queen period um and i'm taking a break from that not on purpose but i'm not going to beat myself up over it um because life is outside and i want to live my life i don't want you to to consume all of it and it's so easy because i'm making my life my job you know but there are certain parts of my life that i want to be completely separate you know so um that's another realization that i came to and i'm okay with that um and i hope that you guys will be too i mean there are some people who have been complaining and stuff and it's just i'm sorry i'm sorry sis but my my happiness comes first I'm sorry, stink. Like, I get it, and I really do get it. And, of course, I am going to try and post as often as possible, like I have been doing, aside from, like, my, you know, not for the world stuff. But, um, yeah, when it comes to a very, like, rigid, structured schedule, mm, I don't know. And that's why you, you need your post notifications turned on. If they were on, you would know when I drop. It'll be a surprise every time. So I don't even know what I'm dropping. One thing about me, I'm a plan. Because y'all know I love to plan. And then when I deviate, I just I just deviate. But at least I know for sure like what the, the schedule looks like. So, um, yeah. But one win I can easily say I had from last month was that... I so did not order in as much. I think I ordered in like twice or something. And even then, it was just like, you know what? Let's just order in one time for the one time. It wasn't like, oh my God, like I had to order in because I can't eat. I can't do this. I'm busy. Like, I've been doing so good with that. And I love that for me because I was a little scared. 
the first couple of days, I was like, oh, ghetto. You know, like, oh my God, I have to cook all my meal. Not the battery dying. Come on. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm back. I've been using this gloss all day. This is the Huda Beauty um, Ice Ice Baby Silk Balm Icy. Why am I moving my head? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm dead. Um, it's cute though. It's like blue. Okay. So yeah, I have been cooking most of my meals, and I love that for me. Um, so last time I was like, oh, I'm going to learn two new recipes a week or something like that. And I was like, girl, please, uh, this month I'm going to focus on one thing and that's cooking that freaking whole chicken that I bought. I don't know if you guys remember, I randomly bought like a whole chicken from Amazon fresh. It's still in the freezer. <laughs> so I'm about to like look up recipes to figure out how the heck to cook it because I'm like, day school is around the corner. <laughs> I should probably go turkey shopping. Actually, no. I don't know what my plans are for Thanksgiving. Speaking of which, I'm about to grab a quick meal. And thankfully, I didn't have to cook this one. This video is not sponsored, but you will see a video where this is sponsored coming up soon. Freaking factor, okay? Baby, let me tell you something. Baby, let me tell you something, okay? What do I want to eat today? Y'all, freshly cooked meals delivered straight to your door. Can y'all see me? <laughs> delivered straight to your door. And I got a lot of like healthy stuff. Um, and most of these are like, oh shoot. Most of these are um, no dairy, no red meat. And I was like, let me try these out and see like how the healthier meals taste. And they're actually really freaking good. Like. I be having lentils, tofu, all that stuff. And I'm like, if, any, if anybody can make tofu good, sign me up. Cause I, most times I find it so disgusting. Like literally they do all the makeup and for you. Not, what is on my shirt? It is so gloomy today. Like, it's like, do I even put the light on? I don't like that. Oh, but this one is, Lentils and sweet potatoes, I got, is it focusing? There you go. Uh, Braceri, I don't know. It's gonna be good though, that's all I know. Cause every single meal I've had so far was bomb. And I've had quite a few, quite a few. I just got this bottle because I love how it looks, love the color. But the straw is too small for my liking. Like I feel like my jaw has to work to like get a large amount of water in my mouth and I don't like that. I don't want it to feel like work. Um, I think when I get down to halfway, I'm gonna add my BCAs. Um, yeah, it will be good. But yeah, so um, in a theme of wellness, um, I do want to go to like an herb store or like a holistic kind of place so I can find like teas and stuff that I can drink that'll be, the, that'll be like beneficial for my body. Maybe I could find like more natural remedies to help me be more focused and alert and more awake without necessarily doing my coffee or an energy drink. Um, I'm just open to exploring my options. Um, so I think that'll be good. Um, I need to find a freaking sleep study and do it. Like, Jamima, get to it. I don't know what's taking me so long. Like, I just, oh, but I really, that's like, that's my main focus. Like, I need to find a sleep study and schedule an appointment. Y'all, like I have a lot going on in September, so I don't necessarily know when it's going to happen, but I need to find it and schedule it. And that is my goal. And also I'm going to bring back the movement. I'm gonna do it three times a week. <laughs> I said four before. Um, 
I'm gonna scale it back to three, even though I'm still gonna aim for more. Come on, bars. <laughs> but yeah, so I think three is gonna be more realistic. So I'm like, even if I'm like dying, I can just be like, all right, let me just push through this really quick workout and just knock out the goal for the week. Um, but yeah, girl, and I'm also gonna keep up the um, not ordering in as much. Like I want that to be a regular thing. Like I want when I order in for it to be like a treat, not like an everyday thing, you know? Because I really want something from a particular restaurant or I want to try something from here and not because I just don't have time to cook or whatever the case may be. Like, I'm really trying to do better about that. So, yeah. Even if it means I have to stop work, stop whatever I'm doing to go make a meal, I'm going to do it. And that's what I've been doing. Um, and, yeah, I've been enjoying it so far. All right, let me get my food. I'm like really excited, but also like I like lentils and stuff like that. So if you don't like lentils, I probably wouldn't get this. <laughs> but I had like a vegan chili, and um, it had like a cornbread souffle. Um, I think it's my second time having that. At first, I was like, "What is that? Like, what's a cornbread souffle?" I had a friend make it once, and that was the first time I tried it. And so that's how I knew what that one was. I was like, "Oh, I've seen this before." But yeah, lentils, uh, sweet potatoes. Is that asparagus? Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me mix in this like dressing thingy. Yo, these meals slap and they're actually really filling. And then if you like care about macros and stuff like that, all the nutritional information is always on the back. So you can, you know, order what you want track how you want or enjoy how you want like me all right whatever this creamy sauce is oh my gosh oh my gosh mm. Mm. oh my god delish but um yeah so i feel like this month is gonna be like last month <laughs> um but kind of like slowing things down and making them into like bite-sized goals and like pacing out the goals as well because i was doing too much and i didn't realize at the time but i realize it now so oh my god Oh, this is really good. And I ain't not came with asparagus. I love asparagus. Ooh, my pee gonna stink. <gasps> oh my God. You know, not everybody has a gene that could smell asparagus pee. I wish I didn't have it. I very much so would like to not smell it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My cooking days might be over. I said, my house cooked for me and bring it to my door. And now I can pick a different meal for every day. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. My cooking days might be over. Mm. This is so clutch. I'm also going to have this Trader Joe's cold pressed juice in red. <laughs> um... This has beets, celery, cucumber, carrots, apple, spinach, ginger, and lemon. Oh, three grams of protein. Mm. Lots of potassium, good, good. Lots of vitamin A, vitamin C. Cool. That's vegetables, all right. I'm also gonna make some coffee because 
I'm getting sleepy. I had to open a window. It was so dark in here. Like, ugh. <laughs> but, um, let's pull some things out. Because you guys remember I did a shot my stash. And I decided to keep the pants. And I, um... I'm gonna wear the pants like maybe one or two more times before I let them go. Just so I can get some wear out of it. But um I never wore this top once. And I'm like, I just feel like it's cute, but I just I just don't wear it. So I think I'm gonna um put that in a bag or something. Honestly, I need to put y'all on a tripod so that I can better maneuver, but it is what it is. <laughs> y'all, I be risking it all with this camera. Like, y'all are not secure right here, but don't move. <laughs> okay. Um, so, for this month's Shot My Stash, I pulled out this number. I actually wore this the weekend I went out with Joy to Florida. But I kind of just grabbed it and threw it on. And it didn't really style it. And I was like, when I had it on, I was like, I could do so much with this. Like, why have I not killed this outfit yet this top so i pulled it back out even though it is fairly recently worn so we're adding that to this month's collection um i pulled this out i purchased this from eloquy fairly recently i did a haul with this and i just something about the sleeve just i don't really like sleeves like this i don't really like short sleeves unless it's loose i either want like quarter full sleeve or no sleeve um so for that reason alone i think i'm gonna go ahead and add this to the mystery bag pile i think i only wore this for the video or like a picture and that was cute so let me add this to the, the shop my stash and see like how i feel if i like wear it and style it um i did not wear these leggings yet but that's because I haven't had the occasion, not because it's the leggings. Actually, you know what? I do have plans later on. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wear that tonight. Let's just get that out of the way because like, I was in the house a lot last month. So I thought I really don't even count. Like I was in the house a lot. Oh, and I did end up wearing, cause I think I, I, I had these pants too, right? I ended up wearing these to go out with Victoria and we went out for dinner. And then I meant to add the footage in the vlog and then completely forgot. But I did wear this and I wore this with um, this little rainbow tube top. And it was cute. It was a vibe. I think so. Um, so I'm going to keep these. I feel like this is another pair that I can get one or two more wears out of it before I decide to part ways. Um, and it's simply just because I do rotate through clothing a lot. Um, so it's not like I don't like them anymore. Well, some of them I just don't like anymore, but you know, like this, these are really nice pants. They fit well. They sit well in the body. Beautiful material, beautiful color palette, but you know, she's here for a good time, not, not a long time. I really keep like classic pieces, basic pieces in my closet for long periods of time, just because you can't go wrong with them. You can always like dress them up dress them down play around with them add something remove something whereas pieces like this are very noticeable and you know are not as versatile as like a black pant you know what i'm saying so ooh, oh it smells good y'all i just be in here smelling my clothes between laundry and perfume like i can't <laughs> i be smelling good like dang like dang okay so what did i say oh i also pulled out these <laughs> these shorts that i got from eloquy that i have not worn yet and i'm like jimmy it's time to wear these though i can bring them into fall and wear them with boots once again i just have to find the right occasion where i can wear shorts um like that cute set that i wore i'm adding that to the mystery bag once again the same reasons just a very i love the complexity of the pattern but it doesn't make for longevity for me in my closet. Um, those are pieces that I gravitate towards, but they're like, pop it here, a pop there, mix and match here, and then time to move on. Yeah, so these will be my, I mean, they're just gonna stay in my closet because these are just black. You know, you can't go wrong with black. So at some point I need to wear this piece right here. 
So she can stay, shop my stash, shop my stash. Um, and I was also debating about these pants. They're polka dot and white. So I don't know. I'll shop my stash these two and see if I can finesse a cute outfit out of them. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I'm wearing those leggings the next time I go out. The thing is they're mesh and little see-through, so it's like night out on the town kind of thing. I can't just wear that to brunch or to dinner or whatever. So, And I haven't really been out, out in like weeks. So um, I haven't had the occasion, but I'm trying to take it for a spin tonight. I'm gonna keep it real simple, black sandals, a black top, throw this on. Which, ooh, ooh, which means I have to wear a full brief. I mean, I could do a dong, da dong, 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 da dong, dong, dong. <laughs> but you know, we'll see. I'll play around with it, see what I come up with. And we shall see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, skeet. <laughs> All right, y'all. Put these down. I need to add a go. Put your clothes away after you pull them out. Like, I just cleaned my closet, um, and there are currently four tops on the floor. Am I going to hang them up right now? No. Actually, I high key want to take a nap. Um, and it's the weather. You see the sun just... The window is wide open. Like... <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to take a nap um, to be continued. I'm going to take a nap. I deserve it. <laughs> it is so gloomy outside. Again? Still? Encore? Concrante? That was not Spanish. <laughs> Mas? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Can you... Feel it's a brand new day, period. At this point, <laughs> listen, one day about life, it's gone life. Um, so really quickly, I just wanted to share some of my favorites with you guys. My glasses can never be clear. Like, you know what? Maybe it's, it's an uh, America's best thing. Like, maybe I need to go to, like, a non-chain lens crafter that can create glasses that does that, that doesn't like get smudgy and greasy and gross just from existing and touching oxygen because like why are you like this you stay on my face 24 7 like oh my god oh. anyways i need the boat that shy yo finally learned the words <laughs> um yeah, so let me go ahead and gather my things. Let me open my list so I don't forget. But um, I have a lot of makeup favorites this month. Oh, shoot. Well, I'll take you guys to the fridge because that's like food stuff. But I already sat down. I feel like getting up. So there's that. Um, so let's just go ahead and start with the cosmetic things. Um, first things first. Oh, she's ugly. I have fallen back in love with the Huda Beauty face powder. This is in the shade Blondie. And this is what I was using before I like switched over. And then I ended up just cutting a hole in the sifter because it was getting on my nerves. And it's not the most efficient thing I've ever done. Um, but I couldn't pop it open. So I just, I was in a rush and I did what I had to do, you know. And the sifter kept like minimizing the amount of product that I could pick up. But yeah, because I was like, my, my eyes didn't used to crease so heavily. So either my fine lines are just getting more liney or like it's the combination of makeup that I'm using. And so I, I went back to this and especially using this with the Huda Beauty um, concealer. Like I'm good. I'm Gucci. Like I don't really have, I have very, 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 I don't know why I love saying that. Very, very, very like minimal creasing, like to the point where I, I want to say I don't have creasing at all with that combination, but I can't say for a hundred percent. So maybe I'm like at a 98. So 
I had to bring my girl back. Um, I purchased a small travel size for me to take with me like on trips and stuff. But I'm like, at this point, because there's, there's still a good amount of product left in here, you know? It's just hard for me to reach it. But I'll figure it out or just put it in another container. Either way, I'm glad I went back to that. I still like to use the Fashion Fair one to kind of like go over and brighten up the face a little bit. But I have really been enjoying the combination of the Huda Beauty Concealer and the Huda Beauty Powder. Boom, number one. Number two, this freaking bronzer here by Gucci, I had my doubts. I had my doubts. I'm not going to lie. I did buy it specifically because it's Gucci and it's pretty. I said, okay, not a Gucci bronzer. Like, so I said, let me try it. And I actually, I really love how this just warms up my face. Y'all, I swear, ain't nobody ever texting my phone on topic of the phone. It's like, whenever I'm lonely, I'm going to turn on the camera. All right, dreaming conversation for another day. <laughs> another moment. But I am obsessed with how this just does a beautiful job of warming up my skin. You guys know, especially what I've been rushing lately, I just haven't been using foundation I've just been using concealer and powder and because I do use a brightening shade of concealer and then a brightening shade of powder, the face very much gives Casper. So when I put powder all over powder, um, it does help bring, you know, parts of the face back to normal. But adding a bronzer on top of that, like, I'm not going to hold you. Like last night I went out. And I put the bronzer on. I went out. I went to the bathroom. I just stared at myself. I just looked at myself in the mirror. And I was just like. The face is doing what she needs to do. Like, And it's a true bronzer. In the sense that it does have a red undertone. And it's just such a gorgeous. Gorgeous shade. And it lasts on the skin. Mind you. I'm telling y'all. I'm not wearing foundation. And I didn't even use the primer that I wanted to use last night. But it still held on. And the face was still giving. And I I love it. And I'm so upset. I'm pretty sure this is the last shade. Like this is the darkest shade. And it's like baby girl. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But I. So I picked this up in store. At Sephora. And they had a whole range of foundations. And I was just like oh. Okay Gucci. Uh, having the shades for the brown skin girls. But why did you stop at the bronzer? It's, it's, it's not making sense. Okay. It's really not making sense. But it's so pretty. I mean look at the packaging. Come on. It's giving me like old school vibes. Like pin up doing makeup heavy liner with the little outfits and i feel like this is something that they would pull out like the color like our grandparents had furniture this color you know what i'm saying but it's so cute i love it oh that's definitely my favorite bronzer at the moment next i have the pat mcgrath uh, blush duo this isn't the one that i featured in my get ready with me they actually ended up having a sale so i got this for 31 dollars on the sephora website and this is just the prettiest like pinky but like mauvey muted rose but like the perfect color for my skin tone some pinks can pull dusty the color of dust on brown skin if it's too pale or too gray but this one has just enough like rose in it and it's so beautiful oh my god bro like this mixed with this Chai. it's so nice and the skin looks so warm and healthy and glowy don't put a little baby if you dare top your cheekbones with highlighter with this combination you can't tell me you you not uh in turks and caicos you can't tell me you didn't just come from bahamas okay because that's what it gives and that's what i'm accepting okay that's what i'm claiming <laughs> the rural trips themselves as well as the products, okay, period. <laughs> Next, we have this Rare Beauty lip liner, and it's actually really like fire. Selena, girl, you're doing a damn thing, okay? Anything for Selena's. I mean, that's a different Selena, but you know, I said what I said. And I love that it's a twist lip liner. So I love it because I don't need a super sharp lip liner. So if you are looking for a super defined 
um, tip. This probably isn't the best one, but I absolutely love this. I love the formula. I love the shade. Hello, brown lip liners. Thank you. I love the um, functionality of it. I can take this with me on a go. I don't have to carry a pencil with me and do all this extra blase blase. And I love that for me. Actually, let me show y'all real quick what the color looks like. Like just a beautiful shade of brown. Like, hello. Ugh, it's a scar for me. Like this real life scarred ghetto. I like scraped my hand against the cabinet and like, how dare you? Like a cabinet did this to me? I don't like that at all. It's a lot of negative energy in this house. You don't like it. <laughs> JK, I love it here. I need the boda da do. So next, I've been wearing these Gwen Stefani lipsticks so freaking much and I I really enjoy them. So when you first swipe it, it doesn't give you the most color payoff, but it is buildable. So you just kind of have to like keep working at it, which can be annoying depending on what look you're going for. But if you do want just a subtle amount of color, um, just to kind of tint the lips or to mix with a gloss, perfect and then if you want more color you can just add it on so it, there's there's more i feel like you could do that with a, a more bolder more opaque lipstick but you just have to be really careful whereas for this you can just do a swipe mm -mm -mm, put a gloss whatever you want to do or if you want just the full effect of the lipstick you kind of just have to keep going over a little bit and it's not the most fun thing um but i still really like it and i absolutely would buy more formulas and look at the packaging like come on Come on, I'm such a sucker for packaging. Like, I really be out here buying things because it's pretty. And then when it works on top of it, like, not a double whammy. Not bang for my buck. <laughs> but yeah, so I have really been enjoying the two that I bought. And that's probably the most <sighs> consistent lipsticks that I've been wearing since I got them. Yeah. And now that we're into fall... Well, even before we started fall, and I know it's only the first or the second. What's today? What's today? What's today? Is the third? The third? Whatever day it is. I, don't, I said what I said. It's giving fall lips. I'm not giving y'all full fall. But I'm giving like warmer, slightly darker skin tone, but better nudes. And I've been loving it. It's fall. Let me bring out the leather jackets and the boots. Period. I don't care if it's 90 degrees outside. I said what I said. Talk about it. Be about it. <laughs> I'm crying. All right. So Walmart has failed me and they are no longer my go-to place for candles. So mm, I'm pretty sure I got this at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Is that a real jingle for TJ Maxx or did I just make that up? Or is that for another store? I feel like the jingle is real, but I don't know if it's for TJ Maxx. Anyways, I digress. I purchased this pumpkin donut. Did I get this from? Oh, it's from Marshalls. Girl, this thing is right here. From Marshalls. This has been my favorite, favorite, favorite pumpkin candle that I've purchased this year, okay? This pumpkin donut combination is elite because it's heavy pumpkin. But the donut portion just adds a warm sweet effect that just blends well i have some pumpkin candles that i got from uh, target which do smell good i have like pumpkin bur bourbon sorry i have pumpkin brulee um and i have something else like pumpkin like app. i'm not i don't remember exactly but this is still my favorite and if i ever see this dang i have a marshall's today because if i i need to make sure i got me like four or five before y'all y'all grab all of them. Okay, this smells so good, y'all. It's I feel like this is my favorite pumpkin scent yet. So good. Next we have Myth. Um, you guys know I purchased this when I went to the um, Indie House Fragrance Bar, I believe is the full name, in Alpharetta. Um, when we went to go make the, the perfumes and stuff, I also ended up buying this. And it's just such a fresh scent and it smells good and i feel like i've worn this in the daytime and nighttime even though i feel like fresh scents are more so day but when i did wear out in the evening i just feel like it added a little zestiness to my step you know at night i usually go for like sexy sweet um creamy scents 
So going with the fresh vibe was a little different for me, but I actually really enjoyed it. And yeah, this is really nice, y'all. Myth, it's fresh but sweet. But not like overly sweet. It's definitely a lot more fresh. But um, yeah, I like this, y'all. I like it. I love it. I want some more worthy. it. I try so hard. I can't even imagine it. I said I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay, so I have this dress here. And it is literally such a simple dress. Maybe it's the color. The color, the color is matching the fall scheme though. Like, let's really get into it. Because how perfect is this? Okay, stop playing with it. But I purchased this dress from Fashion Nova. I featured it in my haul. And I've worn it like four times since that haul. Yeah. Um, I feel like one of those days I wore it back to back. Didn't care. Uh, I wanted to wear it. I felt amazing in it. And it's literally just a simple dress, but it hits all the markers for me. Like, I just love it. And it has adjustable straps in the back so you can make it as long or as short as you need it to be. It's super stretchy. The color is immaculate. The, the wear it falls on the body is immaculate. Did this have a baby slit in it? Yeah, the tiniest, cutest little split on the side is so cute. The color is gorge. I love how it looks on my skin. And it's like slightly ribbed and it has a button detail in the front. So even though it's a plain dress, it has a little razzle dazzle to it. And I just, I just really am loving this dress right now. I kind of need to run errands later. I'm debating if I want to wear this dress to go do it. But I'm like, to me, my life, maybe you should give it a rest. But this is so nice. I really have been enjoying this dress, y'all. And I can still smell my perfume on it. It was in the hamper and I pulled it out. Oh, God, it smells good. Okay. To the salon. <laughs> and by salon, I mean kitchen. Which, you know, in the black hair community, same thing. Okay, <laughs> same thing. So you guys... Wow, it actually looks like I'm recording at night. That's how like dark and gloomy and rainy it is outside. Gross. But um, you guys know I'm a big fan of sparkling water. But lately, I just haven't been feeling sparkling water. Like it's just been a little too bland for me, which is like crazy because I love sparkling water. I'm just going through a phase right now. So I have been trying like different diet drinks and different like sugar-free or lower sugar drinks. Um, Cause you guys know, I drink juice with my supplements cause I literally can't take them any other way. But I don't wanna keep drinking juice throughout the day just because it's so much sugar and I already, <sighs> why am I standing like this? I don't know. But let me show you what I've been drinking. You got it in the finalities and I'm na 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 na. So these have been my favorite beverages uh this thus far. <laughs> um I started with the Sunkissed Zero Sugar Orange. Um and I truly feel like this is the best tasting diet soda. Like, it is so refreshing to take that first sip of, like, the cool drink and just have it, like, wash over your palate. And you're just like, mm. and it's just so good. And I've also been drinking these ices. Um, my favorite, favorite flavor is the cherry limeade. Baby, I have a box that I ordered from Walmart. Actually, I need to go open it right now and put those in the fridge. That's the only reason why that's not the one I'm showing you. But um, I've actually never tried orange mango. I've, I discovered some new ones that I've never tried. So I have this. I also have grapefruit. I have black cherry. I have fruit punch. I have, that's like grapefruit. There's something else that I really like. The coconut pineapple, is that it? That fire. That was my favorite before I discovered the cherry limeade. So... I already knew I love that one, but yeah, this is gonna be my first time tasting this one. Actually, let's do a taste test while I'm here on the Camara. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. Mm. Mm. Delicioso. That's good. Ooh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of that beverage. Mm. And that's uh, that's pretty much it for the rest of this video, y'all. I think we hashed out that for the next month, I'm gonna be doing less. That was my conclusion, I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna be doing less <laughs> next month because me trying to do too much, I'm, uh, I'm trying to chill on that, okay? I'm trying to chill and I'm, in, I'm gonna enjoy the space I'm in right now, okay? And I hope that y'all can enjoy this journey with me, all right? But, oh, this is delicioso, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if y'all want me to do this every month. Like, are y'all rocking with this content? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I'm gonna have my drink. I'm gonna read a book. I'm lying. I'm gonna have my drink and I'm gonna edit, run errands, come back home, eat dinner, then read a book. That's a plan, y'all. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Oh yeah.